No, no, no. No, not, not, not you, Seamus. Ah, poo. Welcome back to Rimware Entries, and today we're covering reading tea leaves, and there's a lot to cover today, so let me get right into it. It's yet another centuries-old practice that's shared across nearly every culture, so there's no way to definitively say who exactly did it first, but we know it originated in Asia, most likely China or India. Reading tea leaves is said to have been invented around the same time tea itself was, the earliest account being the Shang Dynasty. Now keep in mind, that's BC, and tea itself and tassiomancy wasn't brought to Europe until the 1600s AD. And again, before this practice was introduced to Europe, it was shared across many different cultures. A few of note is literally all of Asia, Romani, Greek, French, Slavic, and several Baltic cultures. They all had various different forms of rules for reading, and that makes this video a lot more difficult, so forgive me for generalizing. The idea is after you've finished most of your tea or coffee, swirl the remaining liquid at the bottom of the cup and flip the cup upside down on the saucer. Some practitioners tap the teacup or do other little rituals, but it's not necessary. You can also get really fancy teacup and saucer sets specifically for reading tea leaves, like I'm showing on screen, which I don't have. You don't need these cups to read tea leaves, but they're definitely very helpful. Reading tea leaves is like a combination of wax reading, runes, and charms. Pay attention to the shapes and clumps of tea or coffee left over in the saucer and the cup. What do the shapes remind you of? What first pops into your head? And if you have the fancy teacup, zodiac signs and planets come into play because of the little symbols. But it doesn't have to be planetary or zodiac symbols. There are cups with all different sorts of things on them. But also remember this is pretty much the most common way of reading, so if you disagree with me that's completely fine. Next officially starts our tarot section, which is the last divination method I'm covering. So if you think I missed out on any forms of divination that are from open practices, let me know now so I have some time to research, but thanks for watching. Hey guys, let's learn another tarot card together in 60 seconds. Again, just to introduce myself, I'm a new account, and I'm going to be posting a lot more of these Learn Tarot TikToks, so go ahead and follow me if you want to see more. Today I pulled out the sun, and first, even upright or reverse, this card does not really have a bad meaning. It wants you to think of positivity, fun, abundance, your life force. It can also suggest you have a positive and radiant presence. It also offers reassurance through difficult times and cause you to connect with your true inner humble power. It can also represent an increase in physical energy or motivation. Reverse, this card tells you to connect to your inner child. You may be struggling to see the good in life right now. You may be too confident, overly optimistic, egotistical, or you could be out of touch with what you can receive or thinking unrealistically. Basically, the sun always reminds you of the power you have within you. Thanks for watching. 
episode of how the fuck do I do this? We're gonna make a Florida water based cleansing spray. We're basically just taking my Florida water recipe and making it into a spray. It's gonna have cleansing properties, protection properties, banishing properties. It's gonna take that negative energy and turn it into positive energy wherever it can because we have amethyst inside of the jar. So we're gonna be using moon water as our base. Then orange peel, lavender, cinnamon, allspice, rose, jasmine, bay leaf, angelica, thyme, calendula, and peppermint. Do you need all of these? No. You can go ahead and choose like three to six of them and you're gonna be good to go. If you're allergic to lavender, replace it with chamomile. If you're allergic to cinnamon, replace it with clove. And then for essential oils, I'm using bergamot, vanilla, and jasmine. Of course, I use my amethyst aura quartz to match the little bottle because I thought it was so fucking cute. Okay. I think I got the bottle from Target at the little $5 section. Yeah. Anyway, let your herbs sit in hot water for like 10 to 15 minutes. Strain it out. Put it in the bottle. A little bit of rubbing alcohol so it doesn't mold. Or vodka. Vodka works. Spray it around your house. Feel the goddamn motherfucking magic. Here's a budget slash closet witch tip. Did you know you can read regular playing cards like tarot cards? Go on Google and look up how to read playing cards. This will be the last time I explain this, okay? Ready? Not everyone believes in the fucking threefold rule. Fuck! Uh, excuse me, can you please bring it a little bit closer? I don't have my glasses on right now. I can't see that well. Wait. <laughs> Um, will you please stop doing that? Please. Please. I cast, I cast, no, oh, I cast. Fuck you! I'm not going to announce my fucking spells anymore! Y'all will find out what they are when they obliterate the shit out of you!
with hot wax on myself. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, shit. Yep. The color I'm going for is not purple, not red. It's that color right there. Literally that color. <laughs> I keep trying. Green. That color is green. A few hours later. I still don't understand why for like 20 whole minutes making those Loki wax melts, everything was just absolutely crazy. Hey, um, Artemis, was Loki in our space? Yes, he was, and I did not enjoy that. All right, I'll, uh, I'll go set some batteries. So, Loki, you are not allowed in my house unless I am making these wax melts or candles for you, and even then, you cannot cause chaos like that when I'm working around a stove and with hot wax. Right, now that's out of the way, the rest of this week will go totally smoothly and I can get everything done. Hey, uh, I want to work with you. Um, what? Beautiful things don't ask for attention. I pray to you, Diana, Ophelia, and Morgan and ask for your assistance. I give you offerings of wine and prayer and ask for you to assist me. Helios, I swear to God, if you put a cloud over the fucking sun while I'm trying to film my YouTube outro, we're gonna have to fight. All right, I'm gonna come outside and I'm gonna yell it. Don't look at me like that, okay? I understand I haven't cleaned my altar in a hot minute. I've been busy doing work, living in a capitalistic society. You want me to clean the altar? Why don't you send me money? Please. Hello, Diane, I am outside as you asked. Although if you send me a bee, I will go screaming. So don't, please. Good day, I'm Bob the Necromancer, and today we're doing an unboxing. 